out of my hands? No. God's name is Yahuwah, or Yahweh, or Elohim. Jesus' name is Yahusha, or Yeshua, or Yahawashah. The Holy Spirit's name is Rahakadesh. These are their original Hebrew names. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. John 5, 43. Exodus 31, 12 through 14. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily my Sabbaths ye shall keep. For it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am the Lord that doth sanctify you. Ye shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy unto you. Every one that defileth it shall surely be put to death. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Out of my hands? No. Dad, again, we thank you for the privilege to kneel before you and pray. We thank you first for your son, Yahusha, and Rahakadesh, your Holy Spirit. We thank you for allowing us to be kingdom citizens. We thank you for your teachings and for all your visitations in the name of Yahusha. Thank you. Welcome to you, and I praise Yahuwah, God, for you. The Lord Yahuwah's unfailing love surrounds the man who trusts in him. Psalm 32, 10. A good man obtaineth favor of Yahuwah, but a man of wicked devices will be condemned. Proverbs 12, 2. Blessed is the man who fears Yahuwah God, who finds great delight in his commands. Psalm 112, 1. Remember, a man who receives from Yahuwah God has so many riches to give to others. Remember, before a man can express the Father's heart, he must know the Father's heart. And always remember, know is one of the few words that can never be misunderstood. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. I give eternal life to them that they will never perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand. John 10, 28. Out of my hands? <laughs> no. I want to ask you, what's the first thing you think about when you face a trial? Is it how you feel about it or what you could lose? Do you realize the difference it could make if your first thought was about Yahuwah? If you ask, Lord, what are you up to? What do you want me to learn from this? Out of my hands? Out of his hands? <laughs> no. My dear friends, nothing touches your life without him first allowing it. Think of the assurance Yahushua gave you in today's verse. You rest in the palm of his hand. 
Yes, this speaks to your eternal security when He's your Savior. But it also speaks to your life as a whole. See, you are safely protected within His mighty hand. So anything that comes to you must first make it past Him. And since nothing in all creation can move even God's finger, anything he permits must ultimately be for his greater purpose. Romans 8, 28, 29. So when you experience circumstances that you don't understand, watch for what he is trying to teach you about himself and trust his mighty hand to guide and guard you regardless of what happens. Out of his hands? <laughs> no. When you pray to him, you might say to him, Dad, oh, Yahusha, thank you for holding my life in your hand. I know now that I can survive anything with you. My hope is in you because I know your grip is eternal. And Dad, I thank you in the name of Yahushua. Thank you. You be blessed now, you hear? Peace. <laughs>